Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to learn a very interesting part of remainder. It is given the question is, if 3 power 6p is divided by 385, what will be the remainder? Let's see how to solve this question. The question we have is 3 power 6 divided by 385. Now friends, 3 power 6 t divided by 385, we have to find out the remainder. In this case, let's see what is the denominator. The denominator is 385, which can be written as 5 into 7 into 11. How? Let us see how we can write this. This number can be divided by 5, 7 is a 7 is a, this number can, can be divided by 7 and then 11. 5, 7, 11. So we can also say that we have to find the remainder when 3 power 6 t is divided by 5 into 7 into 11. So let's check what is the remainder when 3 power 6 t is divided by 5. Let's check if there's only the first one, that is 5. Now, as per the Fermat's little theorem, if this is a prime number, then a power p minus 1 divided by p will give the remainder as 1. So if 5 is the prime number which we know, then 3 power 4 divided by 5 will give the remainder as 1 by little Fermat, Fermat the little theorem. a power p minus 1 divided by p will always give a remainder 1. We can check it also. 3 power 4 is 81. 81 divided by 5 will give the remainder as 1. So this remainder is 1. And therefore, we can say that 3 power 4 and 60 can be written as 4 power 15. This will be 1 power 15. This is the property of remainder. So this is 1. We can say that 3 power 60 divided by 5 is the remainder when 3 power 60 divided by 5 is 1. 3 power 60 can be written as 3 power 4 power 15. And therefore, the result will be 1. Now, let's check 3 power 60 divided by 7. Now, we have seen that the remainder when 3 power 60 divided by 5 is 1. Now, let's check 7. 3 power 60 divided by 7. Again, 7 is a prime number. And therefore, 3 power 6 divided by 7 will be 1 by little Fermat theorem. 3 power 6, you can check that it is 729 divided by 7 will give you remainder as 1. So, 3 power 60 can be written as 3 power 60 can be written as 3 power 6 power 10 divided by 7. And 3 power 6 divided by 7 gives 1. So, the final answer can come out to be 1 power 10. And that is 1. So the remainder of 3 power 60 divided by 7 is also 1. Let us write down this here. Remainder of 3 power 60 divided by 7 is also 1. Now finally, let us check by 11. 3 power 11 is a prime number. So 3 power 10 divided by 11 will give the remainder as 1. So 3 power 60 can be written as 3 power 10 into 6. And 3 power 10 is already 1. So the answer comes out to be 1 power 6, which is 1. So remainder of 3 power 60 divided by 11 is also 1. Writing it here. Remainder of 3 power 60 divided by 11 is 1. So we have seen, friends, that 3 power 60 divided by 5 is 1. 3 power 60 divided by 7 is 1. 3 power 60 divided by 11 is 1. If 3 power 60, any number divided by different denominators, different numbers, gives the same remainder, then we can say that 3 power 60 when divided by 5, 7, 11, all the three numbers will also give remainder as 1. By Chinese remainder theorem, we can say. So its remainder will be 1 only. Now this was all, friends. I hope you like this video. Please check the channel. You will find many such uh, questions and videos.